Hello, blog readers. So today I'm going to show you guys swipes, and I really, really love this task manager because unlike most task managers where you just write down tasks, you can actually, like Mailbox for Dropbox, swipe it and boomerang that task for yourself in the future, which is amazing because I've been looking, it just came out earlier this year, now, because for the past couple years I've been trying to use either Mailbox for a task manager or trying to figure out some kind of integrated system where I can swipe things in the future and this app came out. So how it works is there is this web app and there's also a mobile app and they both work pretty much the same. It makes it really convenient because they sync together. You just add a task here. So my task for today would be brainstorm ideas for new commercial. That's a legitimate task, right? And you just add it in. It's really simple. And then when I, let's say I don't want to do this today, I'm going to do this. I can swipe it either later today, this evening, tomorrow, next week. I usually pick like a month later. You know, and I set it and then it'll go into, I set it and it'll go into the later section for the future to remind me. Or it will go into the completed tasks section, which you can browse through up here. My completed tasks, regular tasks, and future tasks. And you can see how I have a bunch of random tasks here. The whole point of using swipes is to be in accordance of getting things done by David Allen, where you just dump everything you have that you want to do in your head onto swipes and as a creative you know you come up with so many ideas and so many things you could do but it's not necessarily productive for you to try to tackle every task every day it would be more productive for you to set priorities and to get tasks done that you want to get done today and to just remind yourself of the ideas and tasks that you have in the future so you don't forget that way in your head, you're not like, oh, I had this idea for that, and I had that, what was that idea again, you know? But you know that when that task gets boomeranged to you a month later, two months later, you know, a month later, next Tuesday, December 9th, December 16th, you know, um, if, I'm, if I'm going to, like, go to read five dysfunctions of a team, then it'll, I'll on January 1st, 2016, it'll remind me to do that. You know, right now, it's not the time to read the five dysfunctions of a team. I use it for stuff like when I'm watching content, watching inside the edit, I'm at 5.4 and I'm going to watch 5.5 soon. So right now I don't have to think about, oh, what chapter am I on that I still need to watch. So there's a bunch of other features too, like you can create and search, you can search for tasks or you can create workspaces for yourself, which I don't really use because what I use this for is just a task dumping and ideas like dumping place where once I've decided to actually, um, all the tasks that I don't want to do, I will just boomerang into the future. And once I've decided to do that task, then I will just copy and paste into Habitica and these will be the tasks that I'm for sure going to implement on. Like, I know I need to implement on this today. And then I can just archive it. So that's it for swipes, and that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, and thanks for listening, and keep following my blog because I'll keep posting more task management stuff and productivity stuff soon.